Hey, what's up guys? I have another Yabo. Very cool package, you can see. Yabo, exclamation point. And to uh, open on camera. This is coming from Jack in Brooklyn. So, knife of the day is gonna be the Spyderco Dragonfly. This is the foliage version. What an amazing knife. I'll do a full review on this. I, I need some more use on it. I mean, I've had Dragonflies one, well, not Dragonflies, pull all. I've had one Dragonfly before, it was an FRM version. Um, this Foliage G10 version is my favorite knife of the year. Uh, I'll save it for the review, but just what an awesome knife, really. So, anyway, that's what I'm using to uh, to open this yellow today. So, let me push everything back, make sure I'm not cutting anything. And we're going to get into this. Let's see what Jack sent. All right, so. Let's see. Nope, or just packaging. Oh, just some packaging. And more packaging. Which is always good for cut tests. So I don't waste printing paper. Ooh. 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 Bunch of stuff in here. And that's what I'm looking for, the note. Let's take everything else out. Oh, sweet. Ooh, very nice. All right. Okay. Put that off to the side. See what we got here. We're gone. So I know a lot of you guys are going to like this. Something else to review. But I think I'm going to read the note first. Okay. But actually, let me make sure. Can read it all on camera? I think so. Okay. Says, hey Jeff, time for another cheap Chinese knife review. <laughs> Please carry and review when you get a chance. Uh, after which it is yours to do with whatever you please. Um, included the box. Uh, oh wait a minute. In oh, included the book box. Oh, include the box. <laughs> Duh. Um, because you get a kick out of them. <laughs> yes, they do. You know me and my boxes. Um. Okay, I had to throw some of it out because it wouldn't fit properly. Sorry, no, that's okay. Uh, also included is a deck of cards. I think it was mentioned that Christina collects playing cards uh, in the video, so that's for her. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, oh, or if I'm mistaken, oh well, uh, free deck of cards. Yes, Christina does collect um, playing cards. It really, really cool. I kind of, it's actually really funny. I'll tell you a story <laughs> real quick. Um, she's always collected uh, playing cards. She loves them. Any kind of playing card. She plays uh, Rummy 500 and, and just all up a slew of different games. But um, when she was showing me some of her decks, I'm like, this is awesome. I'm going to start collecting cards. And she's like, really? You, you collect everything on the planet. Can I just uh, collect cards by myself? <laughs> That's laughing. And she's like, ah, I'm not really sure. You can collect cards if you want. But uh, I kind of got into them too. So I like a lot of the older uh, decks of cards. And it's just, it was really cool. So that was... Uh, that was really um, nice of you to, to have heard that, remembered it, and sent her a nice little gift. So it's very cool. She'll, she'll love those. Uh, the Steel Warrior Doctor's Knife is an extra. Uh, I throw back to an old slip joint uh, video that you did. Uh, that's right, yeah. Did a whole video on the Doctor's Knives. Just really, really cool. So I actually like, as far as real, real affordable knives go, the Steel Warriors. They're a good bargain. I mean, they're super, super cheap in price, and you, you get a decent knife for that. I mean, if, as far as collecting, you want to collect a bunch of patterns but not spend a bunch of money, Still Warrior is an okay deal. It's up there with, like, Kissing Crane as far as cheap but decent. Um, uh, finally, the Lockback Stiletto. As a fan of knives, uh, knife movies, uh, it's I've been watching um, seven lately. Okay. Uh, and Morgan Freeman throws a switch a switchblade stiletto into a dartboard. Uh, I like a dartboard and or the uh, back guard uh, with trees. Oh, backyard with trees. So I present to you a challenge. Please uh, videotape you throwing it into a tree. Yeah, we could do that. I'll take your request, Jack. I, I will throw this knife into a tree in a future video. <laughs> um, thanks. Sincerely, Jack. P.S. I uh, really enjoy the videos. Keep it up. Also, why don't 
you light your pipe with matches. Oh, why don't you light your pipe with matches? Well, when I first got into pipes uh, and cigars, I used matches for everything because the pinky up, nose up, white color uh, hobbyists and the purists say that um, that's all you're allowed to, uh, to smoke you know, quality cigars and pipe tobacco with. And if you do anything else, you are a complete idiot. Um, and then uh, uh, <clears throat> I realized that after some more research and for personal experience that um, a, a standard soft flame lighter is, uh, is just as good to, to light your uh, cigars and pipes. So matches, uh, you know, on occasion, if it's a nice, cool day and it's, uh, you know, not windy, I will use matches. But honestly, there is not any difference whatsoever between using a Bic lighter with a soft flame and using a match. Um, so it, it's a purist thing. If you are extremely set in your ways and you want to be a purist pipe smoker or, you know, cigar smoker, you would only use matches. Um, but there's something called convenience and, uh, and real life. And, you know, if it's windy outside, uh, you know, matches just don't cut it. So, and I don't always have matches around. It's that simple. But honestly, given the choice, it is part of the ritual. And I do like using stick matches as opposed to uh, paper matches. And, uh, yeah, it's cool. There's just something a little extra when you use a match to, to light your stuff. But uh, not really necessary. So, Anyway, that's that. I will do a video for you uh, with this. It's very cool. Let's open this up. It's an old school one. Um, I actually had a bunch of these before I got automatic stilettos. Uh, the Frank B's uh, from Italy, I used to have these lockback ones. And honestly, out of all the ones that I've seen, this one's probably one of the cooler ones. It's got a nice fuller all the way down and the uh, little spot there, your nail. Nail neck is actually mid blade, which is nice. I like that. So, yeah, honestly, not a bad shake for you know for a manual stiletto. Pretty cool. So that's awesome. The doctor's knife is awesome, of course. Very cool. The cards are awesome, and Christina will love these. Let's see, is this yeah? It's the outer shell. Yeah, she'll love these. Thank you so much. I mean, that was that was really generous of you. I really appreciate that. And she loves the little surprises here and there. And on to this knife, which a lot of you are probably staring at, wondering what this is, because you want me to use it and review it. The B stuff, Gonzo, San Remu. Ooh. Cool. Actually, this one mimics that B one. It's almost identical, except the pattern on the uh, handle. And uh, first impressions are really, really good. Again, for a cheap knife, this one uh, is pretty impressive out of the box. G17, or excuse me, G717B. 440C on that blade. Clip is uh, tip up and swappable. And the blade is damn sharp. Hmm. You know, these, uh, these affordable knives, I won't say cheap, because this one doesn't feel like cheap quality. Not bad at all. It's actually pretty damn smooth, to be honest. Ooh, even a rounded spine. Oh man, I'm liking this knife. Seriously, you don't have to spend a whole lot to get cool knives these days. All you people watching who are just getting into knives now, you are lucky. This is the time to get into knives. With YouTube being such a, a resource for information to sit back and watch videos, it took me 15, 20 years of reading on forums to learn about this stuff. And you guys get that and, you know, maybe two, three days worth of watching YouTube videos. So super cool. It is the time to, uh, to get into knives. Uh, and there's just so much competition out there for good affordable knives that uh, there's some amazing stuff on the market. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Take care.